Hey guys, how are we doing? Smash my finger doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't look too good. Anyway, um, got some copper windings here again out of electric motors, and I've come up with a new way to smash my hand. I mean, get the windings out of there. Alright guys, I'm back here again. I'm going to show another easy method to get these copper windings out of these stators here, the electric motors. Uh, it's going to make my other method look silly compared to this one, but it's very effective. Limited tools, which I should have mentioned in the last one. I had a lot of critiques on that last video in regards to the fact that, oh, you need to use an angle grinder to chop them off and all that stuff. but. No, this is all about using limited tools to get these windings out, and it's a very easy method. I see a lot of people struggling with this online, and when I created that other video, it was a relatively easy way. It works. It's a little slower than this way, but both methods I uh, would encourage people to use, unless they want to use electric tools and stuff like that to cut it out, but reminder that the electric tool method is an extremely dirty smoky method and you're creating a lot of fumes too so I mean that stuff's not good for you to breathe in all the time but this is smoke free fairly clean method to do it so sit back and uh, watch me work my magic I recommend not smashing your hand like I did but it happens sometimes guys I mean uh, you make mistakes here and there, that's for sure. But anyway, hopefully this isn't a mistake and uh, I can give you a quick rundown of how to do this. Or how I did it. What I have here is a piece of a plow coulter. That's a piece on a piece of farm equipment. This is a very hard piece of steel. It's spring steel. And I cut a section out of it. I don't know where the heck I got the the actual, there it is, there's the folder there under my junk pile here. It's right there. And I cut the section out of it knowing that that's a good hard piece of steel. So let me begin here to sh show you and demonstrate what I've done or what I'm going to do. I must note that I actually sharpened this a little bit on the grinder and then used the file and stoned it a little wee bit just to make it a little more sharp. It's not, it's not blunt, it's almost like an axe, it's sharp that way. So, and that's to cut the copper, copper wires in the uh, stator itself. So here, I'll get right to it. Now what you want to do, if you have something else, a thin piece of hardened steel, spring steel, it'll work with anything that's at least harder than the steel of the uh, actual stator, the iron core or whatever. So this, this chunk of steel is harder. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, the first thing I want to do is find the middle of this, or close to the middle as possible. It's not really that crucial, but we're going to find the middle of it with the uh, piece of coulter here. And we'll stick it right about there. Give it a couple little taps, and it'll start in just like that. See? Turn it a bit, hold it like this in case you slip off and uh, hit your finger. Don't get your finger in there. Just keep pounding. I'd suggest putting something soft like aluminum underneath there so you can keep that edge as best as possible on your plate here. Finish it off, give it a chop and voila we got it in two. Now as you can see it's pretty clean only the last few windings there have stuck. You don't really need to do much about that you can leave it just as it is. 
put it in your vise. And I've lost my trusty bar I had in the last last video doing this winding pulling here. But a screwdriver is a good substitute, so there you go. <laughs> it's pretty darn straightforward. With one side. Of course, for the video, I have to make it look like it's more difficult than it really is. Usually, it comes comes right out for you. This one wants to make a mess. That's because I don't have my trusty bar. If I had that bar, it would be out. Look at these split. Unbelievable. It's the first one I've had trouble with, guys. This is too much of a struggle. There's one half. I'll put that on the pretty much more that weighs about three pounds on in each of them things. Those are out of compressors. AC, refrigerator, compressors, stuff like that. We got our solid iron here, which is worth significantly more than just regular mixed steel. is a screwdriver is way too big. That was the benefit of having that other bar. It could go right underneath there for you and get them windings right out. I don't know where it went. It's hiding on me because I want to do this video. That's the problem. clean it's all out there's the other half I mean probably should cut that thing off the plug for inside but we'll see how many how much weight we got there got that's the same old scale still there pretty darn close to three pounds and I mean if I didn't struggle there you can get through one of those in probably three minutes well, I got them all cut. I must make a note here. When the windings are heavier in these stators or whatever you got, any electric motor, it's actually so much easier to cut than the little windings. It's, it's, a, it's a little harder to hit, but it takes minimal effort once it gets through. The other ones bind up and they're a little more challenging, but I say it's the, the heavier windings, the easier it is for this method for sure and see how wide that's a pretty wide but that'd be over four and a half inches five inches wide there and almost be 16 gauge windings in this one so they're probably close to four pounds in the bigger ones but anyway yeah it's easier for the bigger ones i got them all chopped and i didn't show the clock for the start but that's really relevant really uh but it was less than an hour to do about 80% of that. Maybe probably 50 pounds there. So, and there's all the processed compressors. So yeah, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Over and out.